Keep Guam Good spokesperson Jackie Marotti did not hold back when asked what her thoughts were on Governor Cavill's decision to allow Bill 19 to lapse into law. It was very disappointing because he instead chose to blame the legislature for the process. He chose to blame the attorney general for whatever reason. Um, he decided to blame political powerhouses. Um, he decided to hide behind a legal opinion of his own appointed counsel and rather than coming out and making a decision and taking a stand, he decided to shirk those responsibilities and instead, we believe, act in a very cowardly way. Marotti also points out that while Governor Calvo was blaming everyone else, the issue of gaming machines originated from his office in April when he gave the Department of Revenue and Taxation the green light to reissue gaming licenses. And so it's very clear that even as he's going through these opinions and various releases, that his goal was really to validate what the decision was in April. Marotti even calls Governor Calvo's effort to get public input disingenuous. She's referring to an invitation Calvo made for the public to comment on the measure on his Facebook page. A majority of the comments were against the measure. And when our governor asks for input mm -hmm. in all manner, from social media to regular media, and then proceeds to basically trash that opinion, you know, you have to wonder about how... Um, authentic his desire for input was. Marotti disputes the governor's claim that the bill is not about gaming, citing the measure's title page, which states the bill is relative to gaming and imposes taxes on it. She emphasizes that the bill was never about the hospital. Even the way the bill evolved, she says, was so convoluted that the purpose of the bill was lost in ambiguity. It was never about the hospital. It was always about working with special gambling interests uh, to assure that those interests were protected. Even the author didn't recognize the bill after it was passed. Uh, many of the senators thought they signed up for one bill and in the end didn't know what they signed up for. Um, so unfortunately, you know, rather than rising above that and vetoing it and simply saying, you know, give me a quality piece of legislation that will be a quality piece of law. However, governor spokesman Phil Leon Guerrero disputes Marotti's statements. He explains that the governor's move was out of concern for GMH and the sick. Simply put, Leon Guerrero says the governor had a measure on his desk that sought to fund the hospital, and he saw this as a rare opportunity to take. And so when tough decisions come across him, like uh, legislation that's less than perfect, mm -hmm. he's certainly going to weigh the pros and weigh the cons. And ultimately, even though this bill was far less than perfect, it still gave money to our hospital that needs money. Leon Guerrero says the governor had three choices to sign the bill himself, which would have meant his full endorsement to veto the bill, but funding for GMH could be lost indefinitely. And finally, the one he chose to let it lapse into law. Why just let it lapse into law? Because if he sent the bill back, uh, he would run the risk of the hospital not getting this funding. Do you think that if, let's just say, um, a different scenario, this mm -hmm. bill was vetoed and the legislature didn't attempt to override it, do you think perhaps the legislature could have come up with other legislation that could uh, assist the, the hospital in the same way as you know, providing a, an urgent care or funding for their debt service? You know, we're seeing... Um, we're seeing bills in by the legislature that are affecting this new law, whether it would be to add the missing appendix onto it or uh, to repeal the law in its entirety. So I think it's clear that the legislature isn't um, happy with the way that they deliberated the first time. Mm -hmm. um, but the responsibility of the governor was to act on a measure that was before him, okay. um, a measure that did nothing to expand or limit the current gaming on Guam.